Well, today on Nation, a window cleaning podcast, we're talking all about the experience of providing window cleaning. What is the experience that you're giving people? Because I always say it's not about cleaning windows. So if you're a small business or a window cleaning company, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. How's it going? Welcome to the show. Uh, If it's your first time here, have a look around. There is 250 episodes, each of them a half an hour long. It's been going on for like four something years, every single week. It's crazy. Uh, Have a look around. Hopefully all of the shows don't suck. Uh, Hopefully you get something out of it. And if you are one of the regular people, one of the regulars, one of the cool kids, if you are a cool kid, that means you watch every episode. You've thumbsed up to the video on YouTube. Of course, you've left me an awesomely raving review on, say, iTunes. And more importantly, you buy your supplies through me. Huh? Shameless plug. What I do for a living is a rep for windowcleaning.com, windowcleaner.com, window cleaning resource. Uh, I would love to be your rep. I would love to be your guy. I would love to be the person in the industry that you can rely on. You can text me, call me, whatever, and be like, yo, all my stuff's in the gear. I get something out of your show. Thank you. Thanks for the content. You don't have to say thanks, but I get a lot of that. Uh, And I put the order in. It costs you nothing extra. And what it does is it creates a, uh, a life for me, basically. So it's because of you guys that I get to exist on this planet. So thank you so, so very much. And if you're already a cool kid and you're like, oh, man, I wish I was even more epic, Well, why not be an epic cool kid? Put all your orders in through me, of course, and get an American Window Cleaner magazine, awcmag.com. If you are a window cleaner, I know magazines, right? You haven't had a magazine in a while, but this is where the stickers come from. This is where the posters come from, the articles, the pictures, the whatever. It's a monthly magazine all about window cleaning and only window cleaning. Go to awcmag.com forward slash sub SUB, get a subscription because you're going to be spring rich baby and you need to be even more uh, involved and why not be an epic cool kid but no i do truly truly appreciate all you guys and gals out there who put all your orders in through me and just make sure that i am the one uh who puts all that in make sure that i'm the one that uh, does it big or small orders i truly truly appreciate it there's so many amazing people out there i know there's still some of you who haven't gotten a subscription some of you who don't buy from me but the rest of you are absolutely awesome uh by the way uh we uh had almost um uh last week uh almost did uh what eight thousand downloads uh in the six days so absolutely amazing so keep it up keep being amazing and keep uh, helping the show be absolutely awesome so thank you anyway longest beginning ever i'm so sorry for all of you who fast forward to three minutes of every show uh but anyway this week we're talking all about the window cleaning experience and here's why i'm talking about this is i have a tiktok account because that's what the kids are doing um i actually think tiktok's a huge value right now uh it is going to change uh of course but tiktok is huge uh value wise it's not all just dummies dancing uh, it is sometimes dummies talking about window cleaning. <laughs> so if you want to check it out, it's Jersey underscore WCR underscore nation. Maybe I'll see if I can change that name. So stinking long. Anyway, um, check it out and follow me because that would be absolutely amazing. But, uh, what I was talking about on TikTok was the three things that I wish I knew or just real quick touched on them. And one thing was, it's not about window cleaning. I've done the show for you people out there who have watched every episode you've seen this one already uh i may have done it a couple times but it was uh uh window cleaning is not that important i have an eyelash in my eye so i'm sorry here window cleaning is not that important and every time that i say that people kind of go what do you mean like what what is that supposed to mean window cleaning isn't that important we're window cleaners that's the most important thing and it's not In owning any business, the service you provide is not the most important thing. And let me just give you a quick breakdown before we get into it. Window cleaning, people look at the windows and they go, whoa, this guy's windows are so much cleaner than the other guy's windows. I mean, obviously, if the other guy did crap work, you can't do crap work. But when you 
look at it so we're looking at the glass like we know what we're looking at we just sometimes and i did this in the beginning i was guilty for two years probably in the beginning was focusing too much on well look at these results when i realized that the people aren't looking at the results they're more interested in like wow how did the experience make me feel how was the process how was the company dealing with how what think about this the last guy that came and did any work for you your painter you ever had a painter uh you have a lawn guy you have a um a service guy right uh, say as somebody who's fixing your appliance right your washing go machine goes out right no matter who is in your place the end result was it was completed the house was painted the washing machine was fixed right your lawn was cut but it's the experience you actually remember it's the wow those painters were so nice that guy was so nice Ah, you just did so good. They took off their shoes. They're always just so clean. They made sure they really treated my property like it was their property. Oh, it was so easy, too. You know, all I said was, yes. They said, don't worry about any payment. We're going to go this. The scheduling was great. They were on time. They were, think about it. The last time you had any service done, it wasn't because, wow, they painted the walls so much more paintier than the other guy. No. Last time we had painters in my house, uh, there's a couple spots where it's like, oh, there's like a little, they kind of hit the ceiling a little bit. Oh, whatever. They were super nice guys. We focus on the service, but people focus on the experience, right? Let me tell you just a few things you need to talk about or think about when you're providing it. And it's easy. It's your first impression, your start, your process, and then your close, right? The first impression is a big one. The first impression is if you have a low close rate, you're doing something wrong usually in the first impression. A first impression is how does the experience start, right? It all comes back to your website. It all comes back to your SEO, right? I found the first website I pulled up. I saw all those reviews. I was already comfortable with choosing these guys and giving them a call. I looked at their website. It was professionally built right? By the way, I just, this is two days ago. I was talking again. Uh, and some people are like, what, who are you? Uh, Justin Monk, Monk SEO is the company that I always talk about, by the way. I love those guys. Love them. Um, but I'm going to get that out of the way right now. If you're looking SEO stuff, uh, look at them. But anyway, if you have a company like that, do the work, what you get is a result that is professional. There's things that uh, are SEO'd in the site, there, all that stuff, right? If I go and find a service, say I am looking for a painter, I search in painter in my town or your town or whatever. And when I see who pulls up, I'm clicking the first few. I'm looking at reviews on Google Places. I, I That's what I do. That's always what I do. It's the same thing when I buy stuff on Amazon. I always look at reviews, right? Reviews are hugely important. If somebody's got 285 star reviews, pfft, Okay, pretty sure you can't fake 280, right? If you got five, it's like, okay, that's the mom, the grandma, the two aunts, the, right? But if you have 200 reviews, awesome, I'm clicking that. It brings me to a website, and the website's like legit, real pictures. It doesn't look staged. Awesome, the info I need, boom. Okay, great. So I found the site. I clicked the site. I love it. I'm calling. Easy. There's the number right there. Call for a fast two-minute over the phone estimate, right? I have all that. The process is easy. It makes me want to call two minutes. I got two minutes. I'm going to call. They're going to bid me over the phone. By the way, we've talked about a thousand times bidding over the phone. So much more important than bidding in person. I'm telling you a thousand times over. Everything was done two minutes later. Go, okay, great, Mrs. Jones. Well, thank you so much. Uh, pricing wise, you're at 329. That's for your inside, outside, tracks, sills, frames, and the whole kit and caboodle. And our first available appointment is actually Tuesday the 14th. That would be between 9 and 10. Does that work for you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, boom. Two-minute phone call. Everything's done. It's scheduled. That was so easy, right? First impression of you showing up is showing up. You open the door. I knock. Or the, the crew chief knocks. You step back from the door so you're not in their personal space. I'm a tall, bigger guy, right? I don't want to be intimidating. Big smile. Hey, Mrs. Jones, uh, we talked on the phone. It's so nice to finally meet you. I just wanted to kind of give you a quick rundown. Uh, you know, we're here to start the windows. Uh, before we start here and here and here, give them everything. Put it out there. I'm going to explain the process. There is no such thing as too much information. I want people to feel comfortable. If you set people's expectations, they will be happy, 
right? So I'm going to tell them everything that we're going to do. I'm going to tell them every piece of paperwork I give them and every type of colorful document. And here's a few extra things. Here's some gift cards. Give them to your friends. Use them next time, whatever, right? And then at the end, we're going to collect the check. I get such a super smooth, you feel absolutely amazing because you look out. I have clean, nice trucks. They don't have to be new, but they have to look like you give a darn, right? You can't have a dumpster sitting out front, right? You can't have a vehicle that's just not even lettered. It's like, what is this guy doing part-time? I know some of you use magnet signs, and I know, I'm sorry, I'm not hating on you. But if you have a magnet sign, it looks like you're a temporary company or a part-time company, right? Oh, the guy's got a, a little magnet sign. Well, what does he do on top of this? Deliver pizzas? Right? Well, what is he going to do? Maybe he doesn't know what he's doing, right? If you show up with a super loaded, nice vehicle, clean, the wheels are clean, the rims are clean, the glass is clean, the open the door, and the inside is clean, and the whole thing is wrapped, most people are like, dang, these guys do this. This is what they do, right? First impressions, make it presentable. Make your techs and people look good. We have in our offices shirts i have probably 50 shirts in every different size and every different style if you ever come to work and your shirt looks like crap or you got a stain or a rip or anything grab a shirt grab a shirt screen printed cheap shirts are cheap and they make people look good if you come to work you look amazing i don't want you to look like a dumpster i don't want you to look like a roofer right i don't want you to look covered in dirt because that's not what we do i want a first impression to always be spot on because here's the thing, if you open the door and there's a cable guy and he's covered in mud or there's a cable guy that's super nice and clean, looks pressed and, and well done, his hair is done, it's, it's just everything looks right, who do you feel more comfortable with letting in your castle, your house, right? When you get in the house, that's the big thing. This is your, your start, right? When you did all the quick sign up, you did all of the uh, first presentations, the paperwork. Everybody feels great. Now it kicks you into the next step. Now you're into the process. And a lot of people forget how important the beginning part actually is. The how easy was it to find you? How easy was it to call you? How easy was it to get an idea of pricing? Response a bit. If people are in the middle of the night, they don't want to call you, they still want to price, make it easy. Response bid's amazing. I think uh, there may be even a code at the bottom of this email or the bottom of this video for response bid. Sign up. Put it on your website. I can't tell you how many. Tens of hundreds, tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars I've made from bids, well, Overnight, it's been tens of thousands of dollars. I won't go into hundreds of thousands just because some, a lot of stuff comes during the day. But how many times where you wake up in the morning, you're like, oh, I got two new response bids. People who booked at, at two and three in the morning. Two, what are you doing up? Well, what they're doing is worrying about something. It's usually the wife who wakes up like, oh, no, my mother-in-law is coming or I got, oh, I, you know what I forgot to do is get the, they're up, they're at them, they're doing stuff already. They're already online. Look at your analytics. You know they're on your site. Why not make it easy? Again, I want everything of this experience to be absolutely easy and amazing, right? All of it. Easy start, easy set. Now the process. I want the process, the meat of this. I want it to be easy for them to just sit back, relax. We'll do all the heavy lifting and take care of everything. So in the very beginning when I prep them, after I bid them over the phone, by the way, I'm going to be super animated on the phone because it translates over the phone. If you're listening to this right now and not watching, I am always more animated, more radio voice, right? It's because I'm trying to keep you guys involved. That's what it is. Now imagine this being a phone conversation. You have to be a little bit more animated over the phone. If you, if you pick up the phone and I've talked to people, I talk to people on the phone for hours and hours every day. By the way, 862-312-2026 is my number if you want to text me or call, whatever. Uh, but um, people call all day. I'm talking on the phones. We get our transferred calls from people calling our main line and all that stuff, right? And you call some people, hey, thanks for calling windowcleaner.com. This is Jersey. How can I help you? And they're like, hey, it's Tom. I just am calling for... Well, if that's how you talk, 
I'm also, I'm instantly, you've drained my energy, right? You've instantly, if I'm a customer, you've instantly been like, oh, this is a great car. Oh, gosh, okay. Hey, Tom. Yep, because mirroring happens. Mirroring is uh, the person you are talking to is who you are talking like. So if I'm talking to somebody who is Southern and they're just super slow talkers, I'm slowing down how I talk because you are going to understand it a lot better. If I'm talking to somebody that is maybe up in New Jersey or somebody out in Boston or some one of these places who talks super fast, I'm going to talk a little bit faster because that's how you listen, right? It's the same thing you transfer energy. So the entire thing in the very beginning makes it easy, right? So now they got you. The process is there. I've made it super fast. I made it super personable. We've already connected kind of over the phone. But the biggest thing is I need to make you feel comfortable, comfortable. Because here's the thing, what do you do in your house when you go to sleep? You lock the doors, right? What happens when it starts getting dark? You close the shades. The reason is inside your house, you can fart and scratch and maybe not even wear pants. I mean, I may not even be wearing pants right now. But with all that, it's because it's your house, it's your comfort place, it's your castle, right? In order to let somebody into your castle, you have to feel comfortable with them. If they come up to the door and they're like, hey, I'm here from this place. Let me in. You're going to be like, um, no, right? I don't feel comfortable with you in my house, right? But if they come up to you and they're just genuinely nice, hey, thanks for having me. This is awesome. Uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and Come in and we'll go ahead and start the windows, taking things apart and removing the screens. This is my tech, Bob. Bob's going to come in and start that if that's okay with you. Absolutely. I'm comfortable. Come on in. Right? The experience is what's translating to their memories of what's happening. Remember, think back to anybody you've had in your house. They need to feel good about it. Right? When you do the work, you need to be efficient you need to be fast now we'll get into tools i'm not going to talk a lot about that but you need to have good stuff if you show up and you pull out a grocery bag full of you know towels and a bucket that says home depot on it or like if you don't look the part they get less and less sketched out who has not had a person doing service for them that they're like what is going on with this guy man i don't know. right if you get a bad feeling your comfort's gone don't let people get a bad feeling about you because you didn't spend $20 on a bucket or, or you know, you don't have a, a nice professional setup. Maybe, maybe you're outside with a ladder that's covered in plaster and paint because you bought it secondhand. A lot of times people do that. That's cool. But understand what it actually shows people. It doesn't show people like, oh, this guy's saving money because they don't care. They know how much they're paying you. They know you're making $100 an hour. They don't want to see you saving money. They want to see you getting good equipment, investing in your company, and being professional, right? Something to think about. But they want to feel comfortable, right? Great personalities. Put it out there. Wear it on your sleeve. You need to be fast in your uh, job. You need to be in and out. Don't Take, don't say, oh, well, I don't hire people. It just takes me eight hours to do one house. I don't want you in my house for eight hours. What are you doing? Why is it taking you so long? I don't want that. And if you say, oh, people like it when I spend more time, they really feel, no. Maybe a couple people do. A little old lady who's got nothing else to do but talk to you about her cribbage club, sure. But a normal person, if you're in my house doing service, I want you to get out of my house. I want you to do the service and leave because this is my house. I don't want to be an all day thing, right? If you have a big house and we all have those monster houses, you got four guys on site all day, 10 hours a day, eight hours a day, whatever it ends up being, if you've cleared it with them. I get that. Well, you got a 12,000 square foot house. Nah, it makes sense. But if I got a little 2,500 square foot cookie cutter and you're in my house for four hours, what are you doing? What are you doing? I had a guy once uh, who did pressure wash. I tried to um, uh, higher, um, uh, customers of mine that buy supplies through me that are in my area to do my service. It's like giving back. Right. And, uh, I've used a dozen people over the years. And one of those guys, uh, this is years and years and years ago, but he was at my house for, he did a house wash 
And it took him like six and a half hours to do a house wash. Six and a half hours. Like, what are you doing for six and a half hours, man? Like, I could do a house wash in pretty much any house under like 3,000 square foot in like an hour, hour and a half maybe. Like, what are you doing for six hours? Like, I got such a bad feeling. It was taking so long and so long. I went outside. Everything is muddy. Like, I knew it was going to be garbage. Uh, I was a customer at the time. I haven't actually, not because of that, but he ended up not buying. I think he did, is no longer in, in, in business. But this is, again, years. This is probably, gosh, five years ago. Anyway, but it took so long that in my brain, because I knew it was going on too, is if I was a customer, this is a terrible experience, right? The trucks look nice. The techs look nice. But this, the process, the, the, the job, the, what are you doing for six hours, right? You want to be fast. You want to be efficient. You still want to do a good work. Everybody always sends me something like, oh, if you do crap work, man. Or my, my absolute favorite wrong line ever. And I'm sorry to stir the pot. By the way, if you want to write me any angry emails, it's jersey at windowcleaner.com. You can cuss me out there. Uh, but people always say, oh, it's my quality that makes people come back. It's because I my windows are so spot free. When No, they're not. You are absolutely amazingly wrong. Your customers are not different than every other customer in the world. They are absolutely not. They're happy the clean windows are clean, but they're happy even if your windows were at 90%. Because they're not looking in the corner was a little speck if you did this, you know. So when you tell me that people hire you back because you do such good work, you're absolutely wrong. Because all the companies they've never used are assumed to do the exact same quality of work clean is clean clean is clean clean is clean unless it's dirty right this sounds stupid but if i vacuum it's clean unless i see stuff if i see stuff it's not clean because it's dirty so you can't vacuum any better than the other person unless you pull out a microscope and really look at it right if you looked at the carbon carpet fibers it's like well this vacuum pulls out more than this one if i vacuum and i don't see anything it's clean same thing, if you do my windows and I don't see anything, it's clean. If you do the windows and I see something, it's not clean. You didn't do a clean window. I'm talking about doing like 90% over 100%, right? It's not because of what you did, it's the feeling they felt when you did it, right? You're closing, it's gotta be easy. I have to close by letting them know what we did, going over everything, letting them know that I want you to be 100% satisfied. Let's walk around and take a look at the windows. Bob over here is finishing everything up. He's packing up the truck, but I want to take the time with you. Have you looked at the windows yet? Everything look, oh, they look amazing. Oh, great, you know? But you see different times and different lights, different suns than we see here. So if you see anything, any spot smear streaks, if you see anything that we missed, please let me know. Let me know and we will be back. We have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. That is not just right now. That is for you being satisfied. Oh, great. Oh, that's awesome. They'll be fine. I know they will. They'll look. We've had people wake up. In the right sun, of course, there's a streak or smear and something that one of the guys missed. They pull out a towel and just take it off. Oh, those guys are so nice. I, they, they probably just didn't. I've had people who, you know, have called us back, you know, but I'm telling you callbacks. And when, before I sold the company, we were running multiple, multiple trucks, multiple crews. I mean, this is, this is across the board. I can't tell you the last time we had a callback, literally year or years. And people are like, what? How is that, Pom? We get callbacks like once a month, just, you know, for little touch up things that people are annoying. That's because your closing didn't make them feel comfortable. If you just leave like, all right, cool. Thanks. Uh, you write that check yet? And they're like, man, as soon as they leave, they're like, these a-holes. Like, ugh, look at that window. That's I'm calling them. But if you make them feel comfortable, like, hey, I care. I literally want to know. Please tell me if anything's there, if there's anything. I have more people who will fix a correction because they're like, you know what? They would come back. They definitely would, but I'm not going to bother them. They were so nice, right? They told me if I see something just to call them. If you can't get to it, they'll call. But a lot of times they're not calling. And the reason is because they didn't think you were shady, they thought these guys really wanted me to be happy and I just don't want them to disappoint them, right? Everything, everything is about feeling and experience. How you made them feel creates the experience. I'm telling you right now, if you're new in window cleaning or you've been doing this for 20 years, comment or tell me or TikTok me or something 
and tell me you believe that. I have not ever met one person who, when they finally broke that down and understood it, didn't go, holy cow. Like, I have not ever thought of this. I'm like so focused on like cleaning the windows and doing this. and I have never stepped out. I've done this for 20 years. I'm nice, but I've never stepped out and watched it on the outside. I've never understood that the experience and the feeling is what sticks with people. Right? Here's another thing. Let me just explain just another kind of break this down. If you go to a restaurant and the food sucks, you go, eh, I don't think I really want to go back there. If you go to a restaurant and the service sucks, you go, oh, I'm writing a review. Screw that lady. She was so mean. Right? The reason is because people give you feelings where food or tastes or quality isn't going to connect with you. It's just a thing. It's just a thing. I don't go to Walmart because when I walk in there, stuff's all on the floors, nothing's on the shelves. Blech. I'm not going to write a review. But if I go in and, and I'm like, hey, good morning, how are you? And somebody's like, yeah, hey, get bent. I don't think kids are saying that anymore. Try not to swear, right? Uh, but whatever they say, and you're like, whoa, like, what is going on? Hey, just so you know, I walked in and this dude over here, you know, just told me to get bent. Like, he works for you. Like, I'm going to go above and beyond where I can connect with people and get a feeling. That's what they're doing with you. They're connecting with you and the feeling. And if you say it's you and you can't have employees because they love you, you're also wrong. They love the person who's in front of them. I had amazing, amazing operations officer. I had an amazing, amazing crew chiefs. Every crew that got into places, people loved them. That's why I hired them. I was on a job one time. Uh, and this is because the flu was going, we had like six guys out or something crazy. I ended up having to work in a crew and I was actually working with our operations officer, who's also a crew chief. And uh, we get to this job that I've done for God, four years, probably at that time, five years, just every single, every other week we did this house. And, uh, it was a condo, uh, one person or a townhouse or whatever. And I walk up, the guy goes, oh man, like always, you guys are so cool. Thank you so much. Older guy, you know? Um, he goes, Oh, here's your check. You know, he starts handing it over and I go to grab, he goes, actually, I'm sorry. I just, I don't know you, you know, I'm going to give this to Gary, if that's cool, who was our operations officer. He literally didn't give me the owner of the company a check and wanted to give it to Gary because Gary's the guy he's known for four years. And I went, Oh, absolutely. No, Gary's awesome. 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 Yeah. Do that. Gary literally got the check, got in the truck and handed me the check. You know, but that's the point is people love to connect and you're probably amazing, but it doesn't have to be connecting with you, right? So that's it. Continue to earn their business. Another thing that people don't do is they just kind of go, okay, great. High five. Call me when you're ready. No, continue to earn their business. When you're done, do the dentist close. What's the dentist close? If you don't know, and you're living under a rock, it's absolutely amazing. But it's when you're done, okay, great, Mrs. Jones, did you look at everything? I want you to be absolutely happy. You give them a whole spiel when you're almost done. She goes, oh, no, it's great, absolutely awesome. Here, take the check. Okay, great. Um, okay, so for the next one, uh, did you want to do three months from now or did you want to wait six months? People go, um, three months a little bit tight. Let's do six months. Okay, cool. That puts us into, you know, uh, October uh, 7th. We have, looks like we have a morning appointment October 7th. How does that work for you? I uh, should be fine. Great. We're going to call you the week before, just remind you, but we're going to have you down here. If anything changes, let me know. Great. Thank you so much. Guess what? I just left. That person does not have to think about window cleaning. They're not going to hire another window cleaning company. They're not going to have to worry about when their windows get dirty. We took care of all that. It's the dentist. You go to the dentist and every time you've ever been to the dentist ever for a cleaning, when you leave the dentist, you have your next appointment. Not once have you ever been like, these dentists are trying to make steal money from me. What are you doing? No. You're like, cool. Don't have to think about it. Ease, right? I'm still sending them emails. I'm still going to send them postcards. I'm still going to call them a week before, right? Hey, Mrs. Jones, it's Jersey from XYZ. Hey, uh, we did your windows, you know, a little while ago and your appointment is actually scheduled for Tuesday. I just wanted to give you a quick call and see if anything changed as far as uh, building or windows or how did everything look the last time? 
oh, everything was great. Oh, yes, absolutely. I can't wait. We have some friends coming into town next week. This is going to work up absolutely awesome. Well, we'll be there, you know, our normal time, like we said, between 9 and 10 a.m. Um, definitely, if anything let, changes, let me know. But we will talk then. Finish the conversation with your guarantees. Let them know that you want them to be 100% satisfied. Let them finish the thing. Close the door as you leave and go, wow, that was really cool. That was just really easy, really awesome. Hey, hey, uh, um, Jenny, uh, I just want to let you know, like we were talking about whatever. I had those window cleaners. It was so nice. Those guys were so nice. It's the experience made them feel comfortable. They experienced it. We all have restaurants. We all have uh, stores. We all have a mom and pop place, right? You still shop somewhere because when you go in, it feels so awesome, right? Maybe you buy from me at windowcleaner.com. Maybe you put your orders in through me because you like talking to me. Maybe, <laughs> right? The biggest thing is, is the experience you're giving them, not the cleanliness of the window. So if you agree, thumbs up the video, like it, comment, follow me on TikTok, and of course, get a subscription to American Window Cleaner Magazine, because it's absolutely amazing. This is how it comes, by the way. Poly bagged with stickers. Ah, so good. AWCMAG.com. Do it, because you're amazing. Uh, and I am a rep for windowcleaner.com. Again, shameless plug. This is what I do. I want to put your orders in. Text me. Yo, everything's in my cart. I can see your cart. Just make sure you're logged in. If you got to text me and be like, hey, this is John Smith, and I'd like to order the trad pole. Cool. Do that. Don't put it in your cart. Just I, I get people on ladders who call me. I get people uh, on windows. You can hear them scraping a window. I get people all over the place driving and everything. I was like, hey, man, I just thought about this order. I want to get it in. Sweet. That's what I'm here for. That's what I do. I make it easy for you, hopefully. And in turn, you let me put the order in. It costs you nothing extra to have a rep. Why not? Right? 862-312-2026 is my cell phone. So text me. And until next week, go out there and understand your experience. But more importantly, be epic. <laughs>